we're, we're touring to tour <laughs> and yeah. to promote the band and not always a specific album but you know we have a real life album we have calmly the last studio album and next to the album coming up so we're always on tour and always promoting it There's a certain um, certain sense of nervousness, but um, typically you're nervous because you're scared that something might not work properly, that technical issues you might have, or also you don't know what kind of an audience you might see. I mean, now in Greece, we've been here for so many times, so I'm, I'm not really scared of the um, crowd in Athens and Thessaloniki country. I'm pretty confident that they're going to be great as always, but. Um, Yes, an excitement, and um, it's a little, little bit like a little boy before Christmas. That that's a feeling that you can maybe relate to. That it's an excitement, and you're just curious how it's gonna be in here. You have, you know, it's it's what it's what you here for. So your whole trip comes down to two hours. That's what you're here for for two hours. <laughs> somebody who's authentic. You, you go out there and you feel the mood, you feel the mood from the audience, the, what you get in return from the audience, and you feel what the song does to you. You automatically set back to the time where you wrote it, and you relive the feeling of back then, and, and you just, it just, I don't know, it just goes up and down your neck, and you just feel back into the music, back into the song. change, improve or get a different sense of working with the music, then the band has been doing something wrong over 11 years, over more than a decade. I think change is maybe the wrong word, develop is the better word, which means um, that you, you stay true to your roots, you do what you've always done and yet you change details, you improve, you, your skills get better. Also, you get a little more confident with how you work with music, how you work with audiences. And I just felt that it's time to 
let the people that cannot visit a concert hear what has changed. And I, we got a lot of very positive feedback, feedback, especially from those countries that do not have access to live shows for us. I think if it doesn't affect you, you know, cold piece of ice. Um, first show in Moscow, a week earlier there was the hostage thing in the opera in Moscow. Um, we played in Belgium, in neck close to Brussels, I think one or two weeks after the terror attacks in, in, in Belgium. So this it gets closer, you know, the, the, at, the atmosphere gets closer, the disasters get closer. And of course you think about it, but there's two things that I always remind myself. First of all, if I avoid cer certain cities, countries or whatever, then where do I stop, where do I end? What am I going to do? And I'm not the kind of guy, I don't want to be the kind of guy that stays at home, at home in the living room because he thinks that's the safest place on earth. Well, then, then I basically reduce myself to, to a slave of my fears. And I really don't want to be that. And if, I, if something happens to us on tour, it would be a disaster. But, and I would feel very responsible for the whole band, of course. But um, we decided that we don't want to be scared. We don't want to do that. It is very sad and it's very, it makes me very angry to see what human beings do to themselves. It could be such a beautiful and wonderful life for every human creature on this planet, but you know, especially in Europe also, the for the past years or decade, everything is circling around money, 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 power. I need more money, you earn less, so I want to earn more and whatever. I, I don't want to get into these details, but I think if we would focus a little more on how could everybody be happy and be polite to each other and be helpful with each other, I think life for everybody would be much, much easier. And I think a lot of these difficulties and the problems we are facing today is because of the brutal differences of the countries. I think unhappiness, fear, is a very fertile soil for aggression, for hating people, for being greedy or for being, for wanting something that others have. You know, th these opposites that, that just attract each other. And I don't, I don't know, I don't like it. I, I wish we could just be more friendly with each other. This is not the end of this world Step close to the edge to believe in yourself The wind in your air is the freedom you step Cheering your right boots at least as you try Feel up, this is not the end of this world Step close to the edge to believe in yourself
situation also who are you going to believe who you're not going to believe and it's I think it's always the best thing to try to get a picture yourself but it's easily said but very difficultly done you can't travel to every country and experience every country in detail to find out is it true what the media says is it not true but I think having a safety distance to the information that you get is important Say, okay, I heard this, I read this, but I'm not going to let this too close. I want my own opinion and I want to be, I want to be a positive thinker. I want to have positive thoughts on the world. And I think in some countries, yes, maybe there are leaders that are better and some are worse and some are a lot worse and some are maybe a little better. But that doesn't change the people in the country. And that's something that I think is really important. Just because a leader is an I almost said a bad word, uh, a difficult person, <laughs> that doesn't make the people bad. And that's something we always have to keep in mind. And especially in Europe, we live together, we share a unity. And to me, that unity is important. It means a lot to me personally. I, I don't feel like being stuck in Germany as a German person. I, I, I want to feel this open Europe. That, that we have and uh, I think it's precious to us and I think it's precious to our generation especially and it will be even more precious if we take care of it for the following generations. <laughs> countries in my life and I think it's it's such a privilege to do that and it's such a privilege to see different cultures and yes sometimes it's difficult to accept differences and to get to adapt to differences but that's what life is about and if, you, if you're not able to do that then stay at home and shut up you know let me say thank you have given me if I stood for everything you've done forgive me for saying one thing we missed you and we hope you hear this song well the first thing is when, when I started I didn't have goals I had dreams and that's a big difference between me is because you look into the future and you you say to yourself, oh, wouldn't it be great to play in Greece? Oh, wouldn't it be fantastic 
to travel to several countries in the name of the music. I, I, I thought like, okay, this would be amazing. And, and then in the beginning it was amazing to be able to make an album, an own album for yourself, and, you know, that you can put all your energy into. And then, you know, it's, it's a step-by-step -step chain reaction thing. It's not like I looked into the future and said, one day I want to be on that stage, or I want to have a million fans. abstract. The dream should be more like, um, I want to be able to live from making music one day. That's an ultimate dream. That's what I was able to make come true. So that's, that's an important thing that I was able to accomplish for myself. And having a great band, having a great team, traveling around the world and releasing album after album after album over all these years and having a very true fan base over all these years. That's dreams, dude. That's 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 more you can ask for. And I think I was way too naive. I was way too small and way too I don't know limited in my in my range of thinking to be able to have two big dreams. I, the next step was my dream. It was my dream to make an album, have a label, and that's that's good. It, I like I still like that way of thinking. Don't think too far. Think around the corner. There's been uh, conversations about that for at least 10 years. And I had contacts to orchestras in many countries and um, we have been considering that over and over again. The thing is just, it's a lot of work. Um, it's a lot of money investment. And um, we, at this very moment, we have an offer for something like that on our table. And um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do it or not. One day, probably yes. And um, the next step for us is definitely after the new album, there's going to be another acoustic album. And let's see what we, what instruments we use on that acoustic album. There's going to be cello, there's going to be violin, there's going to be real drums, real piano, real guitar, real bass and all that stuff. So let's see what that album needs. But for me, personally, what I love even more than an orchestra is a real choir. Choir is for me the ultimate thing.
what I can tell you is that the first concert we ever did in Greece was late 90s, I think 97 or 98, I can't tell for sure anymore, but there were fans that organized that concert. One of these guys called me five minutes ago, we're going to meet today. We're still all good friends and um, so for me, the beginning of my relationship with Greece was in a friendship that came together with it. We had a wonderful time here. We always have a great time. We have very, very nice people that we know over all these years. So, um, Greece and us, it's, it's, it's something special. There's a few countries on this planet where Dark Dreams have always a very personal relationship and Greece is definitely one of those top three. And, and we always love to come here. Ilias is a guy, you know, a promoter here. We've been working with him for so many years now. It's, it's friends, you know, and we have Greek friends personally that we write to and talk to over the years and they're precious to us. And that is very important and good for us. It's, it's a little bit like coming home all the time, you know, coming back to Greece is like a little bit like coming home. Kill project was a starting point. It's just the beginning. The next steps are much more radical. The new Come Kill album is almost done, and it's very different from the first one. It's much more aggressive. It's much more electronic. Much more radical, and I really like this stuff. So, being prepared for a new step. We need, you know, it's like the first Come Kill album was. Letting go of Die Your Dreams and the next step is a life of its own. It's not nothing like Die Your Dreams anymore, nothing at all.
Stop. I started Diary of Dreams when I was late teen, younger than 20 years old. It followed me all my life. It's been with me every day. There's not one day in my life since then where there was not something about Diary of Dreams that I had to take care of, not even on vacation. So, if you want to say so, Diary of Dreams is a big, probably the biggest part of my life. It's, it's super important. to shoot something out of out of nowhere but we were in, in China last year and that was uh, that was quite an exciting story because um, Helger our guitarist he, he doesn't eat meat vegetarian obviously but he eats fish and um, that was kind of difficult so one morning uh, on tour he ordered a fish breakfast so he got this big complete fish with head with bones covered with chili and he likes two things not meat and spicy food and it was fish super spicy so he was crying like a baby after two minutes And the next day we had the concert in Shaoxing at the Midi Festival and was, that was the craziest thing I've seen in my entire life. There were fireworks, hat banging, mosh pits, uh, flags all over the place. These Chinese people went so nuts. I've never seen something like that in my life before. It was crazy. It was very fun. It was like a dream. I was on stage and I almost forgot my lines because I was so busy looking because the people went so crazy. It was really cool. Fun. Du bist verdrängt und du selbst nicht verstehst, was du sagst, was du sagst. Was du 